Hi everyone, I'm Ronan and welcome to Now Z Here. Now with more light. Quick tea update because I realized I didn't do that last time. Although last time there really wasn't much of an update to make. My appointment is on January 28th, so as of when this video is going to be posted on Monday the 25th, it will be T minus four days. And with that in mind, I wanted to tell the story today of the time that I went skydiving. Here's what happened. There was a whole big group of us. Uh, some people had gone skydiving before, some it was their first time. Uh, everyone was doing the tandem skydiving part where you get a professional who straps on behind you to make sure that you don't die. And I was super jazzed about it because there's a little bit of a thrill seeker in here. But once we got there and the whole process started, it turned out to be a bit more of an emotional roller coaster than I had anticipated. The first thing they do when you get there is they make you fill out a packet of forms, pages all stapled together. You have to sign at the bottom of each one to signify that you read it and that you see it and you agree with it. You know, it's a liability thing. But the main thing I saw and the main thing I still remember to this day is the fact that on almost every single page was the word DEATH in big bold letters, because I mean they're not fooling around. It is a dangerous thing, you could die. And they want to make sure you're aware of that. That's my cat Cole, he's very unhappy that I have left him outside of the room right now. Shh. I started panicking because the reality of the possibility was hitting me and having to absorb that possibility, however remote it was, hit me really hard. I started crying, I started saying, I don't know if I can do this. John, my then boyfriend, now husband, uh, who had been skydiving for at that time, he took me aside, he held me, he told me about how when you're up in the air and you're hanging there and you're looking around, it's like nothing else. And it's one of the most incredible experiences you can have. And you're not gonna regret it. And he was my anchor in that moment, he helped me ground myself. So I signed all the papers. Went on, they do the training course, they make sure you know all the facts, how to check your altitude, when exactly to pull the ripcord for the parachute. We pack up the parachutes, we go running across the tarmac into the plane, and then the plane takes off. And as the plane took off I thought, all right, here we go. Even then, after I'd sort of found that zen space of, okay, here we go, there was still plenty of adrenaline. There was still that anticipation uh, and that anxiousness. I had been the last one in our group uh, to actually get on the plane, so I was going to be the first off. But there was someone else in front of our entire group who uh, wasn't part of us and who actually had his parachuting license because he was going by himself. So I watch as he goes first up to the door and he turns around and looks at all of us and goes, it just falls out, gone. It was incredible. <laughs> Seeing his excitement and his confidence in what he was doing made me even more excited to do it. it. It boosted me up again. So here we go. We are getting to the door of the airplane and they have you sort of hunker down and put your hands up on the top of the door. And that's the last moment of anticipation that you get. You're hanging on. You know you're gonna have to let go in a minute. Less than a minute, really. And you're looking down and everything is so small underneath you. And they count down. And I let go. And the plane is just gone. Zoom. And then I'm suspended in the air. And it is glorious. The ground at first doesn't even look like it's getting any closer. The horizon kind of hovers in view. It is incredible. It does feel like flying. And then at a certain point, you check your altitude. Once your altitude is at the right level, you pull the chute. Up I go. And that's more like floating, drifting down. Very peaceful, actually. You know, you have these handles you can pull to go faster, do little tricks. But for the most part, it's a gentle ride down. It was an amazing experience, and although I've never done it again, I certainly would consider it. Why I'm talking about it in particular this week is I've basically come to see my life as a series of tiny 
little jumping out of airplanes. I am a person, for better or worse, who is pretty cautious. Maybe a little too cautious at times, but that's all relative. There's never going to be a person who is the perfect balance of cautious and impulsive 100% of the time. I do like to know the facts before I go into something. All the facts, as many as I can muster. So I want to know not only how do I pack a parachute, how do I check my altitude, uh, at what time do I pull the ripcord, but also what are the risks? Knowing the risks is like flipping through that packet that says death on every page and imagining the worst case scenario over and over and over. Having to contend with that worst case scenario in my mind. Having to be, a lot of the time, both myself and John, the person who asks the question, is the potential risk worth the potential reward? And once I decide that it is, I keep on learning the facts. And then I run out onto that airplane and it takes off. And I can see the people who came before me. Because really, almost anything we do in life ever, there's going to be someone who's had that experience before. The internet has made it so easy to access those previous experiences, by the way. To be able to see the people who have gone through what you've gone through already and are just so excited to be there, just rocking out like... <laughs> and all that prepares you, prepares me, for the moment that we're hanging onto that door, ready to fly. Yeah. I'm ready to fly. Thanks everyone. See you next week. Always be changing. <laughs>